Hi, my name is Carrie Scruggs. I am the owner of Two River Events, a wedding and event planning company based out of Newport News, Virginia. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about what you should do after you get engaged. Um, getting engaged is such an exciting time for you, your new fiance, and your families. Be excited, have a party, celebrate, and truly enjoy this time because it goes by incredibly fast. Um, one of the first things that I recommend you do is, unfortunately, take that ring right back to your jeweler. I know you just got it. Take it anyways. Make sure that it's sized correctly. Make sure that it fits your finger appropriately. And most importantly, while you're there, get it appraised if it hasn't already been done. Um, this is a critical step in making sure that your ring can be insured if anything were to ever, ever happen to it. Secondly, before you start any planning, talk with your fiancé um, about what the type of wedding you both want. Um, get an idea of what's important to you, what's important to them. Um, what um, ultimately this is, is a celebration of the two of you. And talking about these things right from the beginning can help send you in the right direction when you do get started planning. Third, and probably most important out of all of the five things I'm going to tell you, um, sit down and do your guest list. Absolutely, this should be one of the first things you do. This is one of the biggest determining factors in what your bottom line cost will be for your wedding. For example, if you have a $10,000 budget and plan to have 250 guests there, well, what you feed 250 guests may be a little bit different than what you feed 100. Plus, it will really help you figure out how big of a venue space you will actually need. If you don't need a space for 250 guests, don't rent a space for 250 guests unless your heart is set on a one-of-a-kind location um, and you can afford it within the budget that you're working with. Your guest list will also help you figure out right away if you need a bigger venue than you thought or if you can have the small intimate wedding that um, you're planning for. Fourth, um, talk to your families um, or anyone you think might be helping you pay for the wedding. Um, figure out from the beginning what type of budget that you are working with. Um, and where you and your fiance may need to pick up the pieces to get you that dream wedding. Um, money is never an easy topic, so take them to a nice dinner um, in public so no scenes will be caused. <laughs> Um, and last but not least, if you feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start, reach out to local event planners. Um, they can help get you organized, help maintain your budget, listen to and truly understand your vision, and point you in the direction of vendors who have similar designs, foods, looks, um, ultimately getting you to that dream wedding that you're planning. Don't hire a planner whose budget works for you. Hire a planner who you feel comfortable talking to, who you connect with, who you enjoy spending time around. Um, this person will begin to know and understand your wedding vision just as much, if not more, than you will. And they'll be there on the day of your wedding making sure it's absolutely perfect and just how you've planned. Um, let them worry about the arrival times of your vendors, making sure dinner is ready to be served, directing your guests to where they need to be, maintaining your timeline and packing up your decorations. On your wedding day, your biggest job is to sit back, relax, and soak it all in. I hope this has helped. Um, if you guys need anything else, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, Carrie Scruggs with Two River Events. Bye. Have a great day.